Hello, Internet. This is Saroot. It's about fucking time the, uh, free dumb convoy has finally, uh, ended. And, you know, that's, that's a very good thing. If occupied, I know you're upset at me holding you for this long. The, uh, occupation that's been threatening Ottawa, literally, all the residents in Ottawa. Oh, fuck, my hair is fucked up. Whatever, I've combed it 17 times and it still goes into this way. Whatever, uh... Those occupation in Ottawa has literally fucked over everything. I don't live there, but if I did, I wouldn't be real happy either. I'd be pissed. And can you imagine being harassed while going on the LRT or the subway? And, uh... Oh, come on. Can you imagine being harassed and telling you to take off your mask or literally having it ripped off your face while out the convoy? Can you imagine them using children as a way of shielding themselves? Yes, it's human shields. In order to not be arrested by the police? That's exactly what they're doing right now. And this is all fueled by irrationality. Yes, very irrational shit. It's all being fueled with batshit conspiracy theories. And, you know, they may think the world is watching. You know, nobody fucking cares, really. Nobody outside of the uh, fringe mindset is going to care. They just want it done. They want it out. Oh, I know, I know. They want it completely out. <laughs> you know, they want it completely out. They want it all stopped. So, uh... Okay, you want to get down? Go ahead. <laughs> the other one doesn't complain, but whatever. Uh, yeah. They want it down. They want it out. They don't want this fucking occupation. Uh, you know, this rationally fooled batshit occupation <sighs> interfering with everything. Literally impeding what they're trying to do with their daily lives. They don't need that. And... I've seen what it could be like in Toronto. When they claimed there was millions of supporters, there was not millions of supporters. The ones that flew drones around the area, yes, in Ottawa, only showed a maximum of... <gasps> oh my gosh, dare I say it? Dare I say it? 3,500. That's how, that's how many showed up in total. I've gone through so much video footage I've seen. At most, yes, in total for about a whole week of how many actually showed up. 3,500 people. Where are the fucking tens of thousands? Where are the fucking millions? Yeah. Where are the tens of hundreds of thousands of millions? Where the fuck are they? They're nowhere. Oh, right, that's right. Most of them couldn't come from the states like they previously could because border restrictions, because, you know, they require them to be fully vaccinated. And, you know, most of them, a great majority of them, well, I shouldn't say majority, a great number of them, because they're only 0.1% of the entire population of each country. That's really small. Yes, they're really fucking small. Or maybe, uh, 0.05%. That's even smaller. Yeah. It may be slightly bigger in the States because of how big the population is over there. But still, it's pretty fucking small. They weren't allowed to cross the border this time and lie about their intentions like they did previously to get into Canada. And to attend these free dumb convoys. Yes, F-R-E-E-D-U-M-B. They weren't able to uh, bring in that many numbers. Because it's impossible, because, you know, the mandates. Ha! Suck it up. It's what you gotta deal with. That's reality. And, uh, the mandates are slow to extinguish. Because, you know, some countries have already adapted and, you know, adapted to the virus and accepted it. And adapted shit. Well, the United States is not really prepared about for it. A few other countries aren't prepared for it. Let's just say maybe about five or six. So, yeah, it's it's still going to be chaotic around those places. But 
everywhere else, they're starting to adapt to endemic status. And, you know, that's good. But, you know, being ex-fringe, I am seeing the same fucking shit year after fucking year after fucking year since I left. Yes, yeah, since I left 17 years ago. I've been seeing the same fucking shit. The same quotes, slogans, chants, blah, 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 the same signs. But they've, yeah, they've been rehashed and adapted. But there's the same fucking shit. Does not change. It does not change. That's your conspiracy theories come and go. Yes, they do. Some stick around. But most come and go. And they change. But the fringe in general doesn't change. The mindset doesn't change. It's like a huge fucking firewall. It's entrenched. It's horrible. It's horrible. Besides that, I'm glad the convoy is being disassembled and demolished. I'm glad the police are actually taking action. And no matter how many times they want to shit smear everything and blame it on everything and accuse Canada, yes, the Premier and all that, because I'm centrist, I don't give a fuck who's Premier. It could have been anyone. Uh, they want to say, oh, he's a tyrant. Oh, he's a dictator. Oh, well, try living in a country that's actually run by a tyrant or a dictator and then come back crying here. You'll see life is not so nice over there. I mean it. And claiming, oh, we're communists. Oh, sorry. We're not communists. Try living in North Korea for a year. Or even a day. <laughs> You'll find out it's not so nice over there either. Uh, I don't know how many other countries are communists, but... Frankly, I don't really give a shit. But, then again, there's good and bad to that. You know, nobody is rich, nobody is poor. Kind of actually good, but, you know, it's not adaptable everywhere. Some parts of the philosophy get adapted, yes, but not everywhere. Doesn't work here. Doesn't work everywhere else. So, yeah. They can say all they what they want. They can scream every single rational thing they want, but it's not going to change a goddamn thing. Two things I got to point out right now. Batshit conspiracy theories are not fucking real. And you cannot wake up the planet. You know what I'm talking about. That's what they want to do. Wake up the world. Oh wait, where the fuck did that come from? Scientology. Holy shit. Alright, whatever. Uh, and the other thing, none of their charter freedoms and rights have ever been taken away from them. Otherwise, they wouldn't even be there to protest. They don't want to arrest the same exact day. Every single free, dumb walk, or march, or protest, or rally, they would have all been arrested the same fucking day they have gathered there, or within hours, or minutes. That didn't happen. They wouldn't have been able to leave their homes to go to the grocery store, much less anything else. That didn't happen. You see? Yeah, that's the mindset, and that's what it does. But, you know, I'm free of it. For a long time, most of the world is free of it. We don't follow batshit conspiracy theories. We don't get stuck inside a cult like that. No. That's all I'm going to say. Good on the Ottawa police for clearing the convoy. So, yeah. And, uh, you know, I really hope a third or fourth person actually hacks into Gibsengo and... Redirects the funds to where it's actually needed. Seriously. I hope that happens. Give it to some actual real charity. Or especially, you know what's better? Give it to the Daily Bread Food Bank. They could use it. Or even the Canadian Red Cross. They could use that funding. Not those, you know, not the fringe. <laughs>